So here we are, TechCrunch Disrupt 2019. It's my first TechCrunch I'm going to. Should be pretty good. Yo, check out Cody. They gave me some free coffee. They're working space in Soma and Berkeley. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank Thanks you guys so for the coffee. Enjoy. Thank you. Have a good thank day. you. You too. Coffee. Ooh. Pretty dope. It's a samurai robot. If you answer yes, then your idea in mind. AI samurai will search it for you. AI see it's got the 360 camera on the top and on the bottom, and it just is able to stabilize in this way that others it's a drone with our technology. That's so, you so see, crazy. It's so stable, right? Super cool. This gets my approval. Very neat. Thank you very much. Arrow next. Yeah. All right, let's start with two. All right, then. Good luck. Thank you. I've been taking everyone's money all day. So, these are AR cards, right? They are AR cards. Cool. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. The best marketing. Look at this guy. The wind up little ectoskeleton robot. It dances. Thank you very much. Yeah, no. They like opening up access to these resources, space based resources, and then, and then making businesses around yeah. yeah. So, can we talk a little bit more about the longer term vision? Sure. Yeah, sort of... Which one is for uh, no. AZB and which one is for self driving and ADAS? These both do LiDAR, this yeah, one's 2D, 3 Maybe this guy will do it. Oh yeah, that's good. Do Ready? <laughs> do one of the... Here! Oh. <laughs> Donuts! Coolest card I've ever seen. There we go. Alright. Yep. All right. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like right. button, it's and so uh, yeah, yeah, smash all those buttons. I love Woo. it. Okay. Cool. Another calamari thing here, but tell me more. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, well, where was I? Why the squid? It's an octopus. Right here. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna stand. Sauce 17. 21. Jeez, this guy. This guy is good. I've never seen something quite like this. It's a hanging VR. So it makes it easy to be hands free. Code response. This is pretty. This is intuitive. This. Ooh. Swag, that coolest swag so far. This little succulent from Brax. It's so cute. Keep growing. We're punishing. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is the automatically adjustment. Oops. I didn't know what it clicked. Just <laughs> makes you super strong. Uh, it, it takes off the fatigue. I don't know if it makes ah, it strong. Ah, so it's back support. Yes, okay. shoulder support. Thanks very much. Um, it was a, a time in my life. I, so I've been acting ever since I was a kid, and then I quit for a while to go to college. And then when I got back into it, uh, or wanted to get back into it, I couldn't get a part on the casting. And Apple has been fantastic so far. I'm really, really excited to be working with them. Is Hit Record involved in any way in this Farm project? Uh, no, other than uh, always, whenever I've done stuff in, in conventional show business, it's really impacted Hit Record. Um, because probably if I weren't in conventional show business, you wouldn't be having some dude who raised a Series A uh, Don't say sitting that. here talking to all of you. Don't right say now. that. Yeah. Um, I do, my, my final question is just like, why Apple? You know, I'm sure this was shopped around. I don't know how involved you were in that decision, but why is Apple a good prospect for something like this? I mean, first of all, their, their reach, and that speaks to actually the, the impact on Hit Record. When, when Apple drops a show, the reach is going to be really incredible yeah. and I think it's going to be reaching I, I think there's actually a lot of overlap in the culture of what Apple is and who Apple appeals to with 
who I think kind of my audience is and who Hit Record's audience is, is people who are creative. There aren't any other tech giants that are making GarageBand, they're making iMovie, they're making Final Cut Pro. Apple has a history of making the best creative tools ever. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly who I want to be connecting with. And, and I, I do think that there's exciting overlap between that and our, our target for Hit Record. Tell me. Ah. Uh, well, it's a good thing I did anyway. All right. Here, here we go. I'm, I'm going, going three this time. Three. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay, yeah. I'm going 7-4 right here. All right. Tell me. We got Rabid API here. Rapid IPA. They got these cool little, like, candies with the, the octopus and squid. Cause the cool is data something that is going to be more and more involved in the hit record process? Yeah, I don't have any problem with, uh, with using data. I don't have any problem with machine learning. The question is, what is the machine learning algorithm optimizing for? Whose agenda is it serving? I think Netflix is a good example of what we should be doing. There's right. a direct billing relationship between the customer and the service. Right. The customer's like, hey Netflix, I want to watch stuff that I like. Netflix is like, cool, we're going to collect a bunch of data on you and try to, you know, give you stuff that you like. If that's what you want, great. If there's a, um, there are meditation apps, there are fitness apps that, like, use data to try to help you achieve the goals that you want to achieve.